please to declare me wa we can talk number 280 open shall we all rise for the thai national anthem
we are non-political, we are non-religious denomination. Here we only talk about health, nutrition, we do not talk about religion, we do not talk about politics. I am sure you all agree with me, any platform, the moment you bring in religion, the moment you bring in politics, there, there, there will be a conflict. Because people have different faith and I, I we, we, we are not against any faith, any belief, but it should be personal. And if you look left and right, look around you left and right, look to the person next to you. Biva is a true example of United Nations. You will not find any gathering anywhere in Thailand or anywhere in the world. You will find so much races, so much nationality, so much religion as represented in Biva. Whenever we have a annual major event with 100, 200, 300 people, we easily have people from 50 countries represented. Now let's turn this event into a more warm hospitality, more friendly. And the best way to do is by let each one introduce themselves. Okay. We, we keep it very short at this stage. Your name, where are you from originally, what you do, and if you are vegetarian or vegan, how long have you been vegetarian or vegan? That's it. Keep it very short. <coughs> Less than 30 seconds. Name, where are you originally from, what you do, how long have you been vegetarian or vegan, or if you are not vegetarian or vegan, you may simply share how much you like vegetarian or vegan. I start with myself. I am Porte of Siri Narula, or nicknamed Paul. I was born in Thailand with a family root from India. I am personally a motivational speaker and also a real estate entrepreneur. I am a vegetarian by birth, turned vegan in 1984, 32 years ago. Perhaps my family has been vegetarian for many hundreds of thousand years. And that's it, keep it very short. I'll start with the person on my right, please. I'll have a phone. Good evening. I'm Dr. Kamaljit Singh. I'm the holistic health therapist, a doctor of holistic therapies. Uh, basically, I'm from India, and I'm here since last 10 years, and I'm uh, vegetarian since last five years. Thank you. Good evening everyone, my name's Ian. I started to become a vegetarian around about the age of five. Okay, at the age of five. Okay, yes. Okay. My name is Meena Balaji. Uh, I'm born in India, but currently we live in the UK. Um, we are here for a short holiday to Bangkok um, and, and Thailand. Um, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, Apart from vegetarian food, we also eat mainly chicken and fish. Mm. <coughs> I'm uh, Dr. Balaji. Uh, I'm originally from Chennai. I've been living in the UK for 30 years. Uh, we're here on a holiday. I'm a plastic surgeon. Uh, I'm a vegetarian by birth. Uh, and, and I'm still vegetarian. Still vegetarian. Ah. <laughs> I'm Anita Baji. Um, we live in the UK and not not quite vegetarian, but I do enjoy vegetarian food. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm Priya Balaji. I'm a sister to Anita. Um, we live in the UK. I'm not quite vegetarian, but um, if dad's a vegetarian, we eat vegetarian a lot of the time. <laughs> Movement and uh, vegetarian 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Ying Ke Jie. I'm from China. 
Thank you. Uh, my name is Shita. I come from China. He is my husband, and we speak a little English. And we open a shop and sell about something good for health. I think uh, this is very good. Thank you. My name is Nankawat. It's the uh, second trillion of uh, Thai Vegetarian Union. 18 years of vegetarian. Thank you. My name is Evan. I'm from, from Australia. I became vegetarian in 1967, the summer of love. I've been vegan for 17 years. I believe people who eat animal products should be dragged out in the streets and shot in the head. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Kim Won. I'm from Myanmar. Uh, we, my parents have been vegetarian for over 10 years, so my husband and I, we just want to explore being a vegetarian, and that's why we joined. We're from Myanmar. Uh, my name is Wee and I'm from Myanmar. Uh, I'm not quite vegetarian yet. Thank you. My name is Jaren Thib. Nickname is Superman. I'm from Thailand. <laughs> I'm from Thailand. Thank you. Uh, vegetarian. You didn't mention. I'm vegetarian since 1957. Six months. Six months. Good evening. My name is Kalayadi. I have turned uh, to be vegan convert um, for seven years, and now I'm running a, a vegan restaurant and vegan bakery called Vegan Every, and uh, welcome you. The best vegan outlet in <laughs> Thank you. We were there last night, taking our guest speaker there. I'm Dr. Brigitte from Italy, and uh, I'm a retired banker, and uh, can I say I'm striving to become uh, uh, more vegetarian? I'm 70, 80 percent, but uh, I have to be stronger. It's not, it's not easy at my age. I began four months ago, five months ago, as you know. And it's not, uh, but I'm not eating meat anymore. anymore. And so, some uh, crabs are wrong. Good evening, my name is Nacha Pan Sindri. I'm on nickname Michelle. Uh, I was born in Bangkok. I'm occasional vegetarian. Good evening, I'm Malini Hiran from India and I'm a vegetarian by birth. And I'm a student studying law. Student here or in India? No, in India. I'm from India only. Right. Okay. Good evening. Uh, my name is Uma. I'm from Uttar Mrs. I'm from India since birth. I'm a Christian. Good evening. My name is Ray Admiral Sukhon Rantaksevi. I've been vegetarian for uh, nine years. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm Rachan Jain. I'm from Delhi, India, but now I live in Thailand for the last 30 years. I'm in stone business, marble and granite. I'm a vegetarian since uh, birth. And uh, I believe in uh, live and let live. We have a right to live, and we should give a right to animals and all living beings to live, to have a harmony in the world. And uh, that is the only way that we can achieve peace, and uh, this is the survival of the world. Thank you. <clears throat> my dear God, I'm born in Thailand. My Thai name is Suradesh Satri Ratana. So I'm a vegetarian for 30 years. Now I'm retired, but I'm selling the Indian <coughs> IPTV boxes for entertainment to the Indian peoples. Anything I can do for you, I'm glad to have to cooperate with all of you. Thank you so much. Good evening. I'm Arun Gandhi. 
I was born in New Delhi, India, and I moved to Thailand since 20 years before. I'm vegetarian since birth, and I will be vegetarian whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Now you see, it's a truly united nation gathering. We have people from UK, from Myanmar, from India, from Australia, and of course from Thailand. The program sheet you have been given, if you look at page 3, we have listed just some, okay, this, this is just uh, some selected veg or vegan outlets. Uh, along with the COVID road, we, we, Thailand, Bangkok has more than 100, but I, we, we have selected just a few. The first one is We Can Read. We were there last night with our guest speaker, We Can Read. It's 100% vegan. And then we have Meiweji Home, also 100% vegan. Then we have Broccoli Revolution, all with it, Sukhumbit, also vegan. Then we have Italian, it's vegetarian, not 100% vegan, it's vegetarian, but they have an option for vegan cheese. And then we have Saras, also vegetarian, not, not vegan, but they have vegan menu as an option. Look at page 5. Some of the news. You know, Denmark has passed a law to ban killing of animals as per Jewish and Islamic law due to extreme torture before animals' death. Of course, to me, if you ask me, I like to see the world with 100% vegan. We don't need, we don't need to eat animals. We don't need to pretend to love dogs and cats and eat chicken and fish and pigs and why wear cows on our body. My belt is a vegan belt. Okay. My shoes, I refuse to wear leather shoes. Of course, that's what I like to see one day. But before we reach that stage, no doubt the world will go step by step. It is not going to be a one jump. It's going to be step by step. Yes. You know, George Armani gave up the uh, leather product. Who? who, who? George Armani. Oh, very good. Very gave good. Gave up leather product. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, and then we have And then Tesla, you know, now the world is moving towards electric car. Yeah. And Tesla is working on this. One day you will see electric car everywhere. So electric car will be the pioneer to reduce pollution and to bring down global warming. So to bring down global warming is not just about not producing pollution, but it's about the leather seat you are using. If you, are, if you continue to use cow leather for the seat, you, you still cause global warming. Because to raise a cow, you need to cut down forest. You cannot raise cow in a forest. You need to cut down forest. You need to grow grass. Okay? This is the reason rainforest in Amazon in Brazil is going down because they are clearing the land to supply meat to America. So if you are what if you want to be known really as a uh, part of the reduction in global warming your leather cannot be animals leather for the for the car seat yes uh, you are uh, talking about Tesla but uh, this car will be very expensive anyway but uh, I used to um, to ride you know some kind of call Uber or Grab taxi right and uh, a few days ago I mean, a beautiful ride with a Cambry hybrid. Cambry hybrid, yes. Hybrid, yes. yes. Goes in electric, you know, and 
Roman would not have his finish to switch to yeah, the Yeah, 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 correct. That, that's a, a, the cost is uh, 1 million 600 pounds, something like that, more affordable for yeah. many people. So that is midway before full electric car. <coughs> yeah, I think it's a good choice, good choice, <coughs> because electric, full electric car is not yet available in Thailand. So hybrid yeah, is a good choice. It's a good car, option. Uh, about 30 years ago or more, uh, my uncle that passed away, uh, not yet, but not too old, was a professor in uh, Polytechnic University in Milan, and long time Rotarian. Uh, he told me, you know, uh, already existed a car, but cannot be produced for political reasons. Okay, that's very good. Now, before we move to the highlight of this evening, our guest speaker, especially if you in from Hyderabad, India, I like to share two more aspects. I'm sure many are vegetarian, but not yet vegan. I like to show, share two more aspects why you need to move one more level from vegetarian to vegan. On AIDS issue, can I have to give help me to share this? Why do we give? Why do we need to give up AIDS? Because AIDS is. It's just only the time that, uh, that uh, before it's transformed to be hen. One egg is a hen. If we declare that we eat uh, vegetarian, this means we should not eat hen. We need to be hen. This creamy. Creamy, creamy, yes. Okay. Very clear. No, it's not. An egg is not a hen, it's a chicken, period. It's not, there's no rooster. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's no action. Right? Okay. It's just, a, it's just a collection of protein and it doesn't have any life in it. I mean, at last. At what? last. At last, it is a hen. And, uh, and the second is the, that is cruelty in the factory farm. And at last, the mother hen is killed. And the chicken, turn to be orphans since birth and we kill orphans very cruel well the boy babies just get twisted they put him into a grinder all the boy chickens right? yes when they're born they take them and they look is it a boy or a girl if it's a boy it just goes into a funnel it goes into a machine that goes and grinds them up into goo and yeah. then they take that goo the baby chicken goo and they feed it to the chickens. They make it into pellets and they feed it to the adult chickens. And very good, very and good. And then after they kill the adult chickens, because I know, because I hitchhiked on a ride in a truck that was full of 10 tons of chicken guts and chicken bones, right? And they take it to a big factory and they heat it up and they treat it and they add grain to it and they turn it into pellets and they feed it to chickens and they're eating other chickens. <laughs> like 60% of the pellet is made from all of the rest of the dead chicken that people didn't eat. So, it's been to con uh, to consumption of meat. Uh, although it's not the meat, the red meat with the bread, we just see that um, the eggs form, is this mean it will turn to be a chicken in the future if it will have the meat and blood. So vegetarian should not, must not eat egg. Okay, very good. Now, <coughs> I've heard a little bit on eggs. Let me share on milk, on dairy products. I was a born vegetarian with lots of milk, you know, like any Indian family. 32 years ago, I, I started meditation. And I, I, I don't know what happened, the idea just came out of meditation. I start getting down to oh, is the is this animal's milk really for us? You know, giraffe milk is for his baby. Dog's milk is for his baby. Monkey's milk is for his baby. Rabbit's milk is not for us. Human's milk is not for squirrel. I start getting doubt. Um, I actually realized there are 4,300 species of mammals. Each species milk composition is suited for that species. Protein, calcium, carbohydrate, sugar is designed for that species. 
and all the other species, 4,299, give up milk when their, when their teeth start growing. And when, when uh, the, the nature guide, when mother's milk start drying up, they, they start eating grass, they start eating banana, they start eating other food designed for them. That's called weaning period. We are the only species. The moment our mother's milk dry up, we look for other animals. You know, it, it, it just, just an idea came, it, it just suddenly didn't make sense to me. Then I visited the dairy farm, and I see to so much torture there. From a distance, I, I, it, it's two hours north of Bangkok. I, I drove there 32 years ago. From a distance, it looked to me cows have eight legs. The moment I walk nearer, I realize cows actually have four legs. The other four that look like legs from a distance is actually unders of the cow. You know, they suck so much, use machine to suck from the, from the distance. The other almost reaching the ground. It looked like eight legs. It looked like cow with eight legs. As I approach, I see machine sucking. I see it with my own eyes. Machine doesn't know milk has dried up. Sometimes the blood start pouring because the machine keep on keep on sucking. And the, the cow never walk so much like what we see in a advertisement cartoon in a TV. They are they are tied up to one place. They are being fed there with grass, with chemicals, with hormones. They are being given injection every day. So many injections to give more milk, to grow fast. That, that's a kind of uh, cow's life. And, and we again, we, we are so much uh, in our own world. Being fed milk is a must. We see advertisement, but we fail to realize that cow is not a milk machine. If nature or God has designed cow as a milk machine, he must give milk all the time. How does cow give milk? Like my wife, like my mother, like my daughter, like any ladies in this room, you can give milk only after delivery of a baby. So it's a clear proof cow is not a milk machine. It's a nature of providing the best food for the baby. Okay, so how do we get milk? We give injections so cow, cow get pregnant. After baby taken out, baby taken away, because we want that milk. So baby never drink his mother's milk. Baby is being fed with poor quality antibiotic powder milk. And being put in two sides, one side is male calf, one side is female calf. Male calf will be slaughtered in two months. If you drive to north of Bangkok, Muok Lake area, Muok Lake, sorry, on the roadside, you will see a vendor put up a sign, calf for sale. Yeah. So many, you will see that. Calf for sale, calf for sale, calf for sale. Those are these two months calf. They don't need the male too much. They need more female. Because female, they are raised as a mother cow. Cow will have to go through this kind of life several times in their life. Before they reach a stage, they can no longer produce milk. Do not pretend not to know what happened to cows when they no longer produce milk. Yes, yes. I live in the country in Australia. When country? Australia the country is a big exporter. When they take the baby away from the mother, yes. the mother goes, That was 32 years ago. What I saw that day, it, it didn't take days, weeks, months, years, right on the spot. Till now, it's 32 years. I have not taken a slice of cheese, not a glass of milk, not a spoon of curd, not a spoon of ice cream. It's 32 years. I became vegan. <laughs> if 
even before I heard of the word vegan. It was many years later that I heard of the word vegan. Okay, now we move into the highlight of this evening. Heart healthy with vegan food and zero oil cooking. Not something new. Zero oil cooking. We always believe that cooking we need oil. Today the subject is zero oil cooking. And of course vegan food. I'm, I, it's our honor, our privilege to have this guest speaker flying in from Hyderabad, India. He's a master in homeopathy. The, the homeopathy is very less known in Thailand. In, in fact, it's a very popular medical science in India. In India, you see everywhere homeopathy clinic, but it, it's less known here. And uh, plus alternative therapy, a doctor of alternative therapy. Who's been practicing for 25 years, a born vegetarian. Let me keep my introduction short and let's let's hear more from him. Join me in welcoming Dr. Srinivas Gupta. in India, how to avoid the doctor, how to minimize the medication, how to be healthy with the vegan diet, vegetarian diet. So I am also connected with Om Shanti, a uh, charitable organization in India. They have got many centers around the world. I thought, okay, let me also explain you few the things and vegetarian thing. Basically, for the heart, we are doing little research how to reduce the cholesterol with the vegetarian food, how to unclear the block heart risk without any surgery and all, minimizing the surgery and uh, other thing. Basically, in India we have got a little R&D unit. Any patient comes, we give the vegan diet, exercise, yoga, and little homeopathic medicine. And we all, alternatively, we are attending the patient to minimize the medication. We are connected to so many nature hospitals also. So the patient is come with the hospital with the 10 types of medication. While after the 10 days, we are at least reducing 90% of the medication with the diet, exercise, and the meditation, yoga, and uh, vegan diet. So the research has shown Tremendous results are there. Only thing is, one should know. Then we got associated with one Bangalore, one Jindal, one Nature Field Hospital is there, in Hyderabad. There are so many centers we are working at, working it out. How to minimize your health problems? So, <coughs> I'm, I'm, first thing is, I'm going to teach you one or two yogic exercises. So I have given 40 minutes. So basically, I wanted to tell uh, everybody is surprised. Every dish is made with oil. Vegetables are made oil. Rice are made oil. You are surprising without oil. How to make the food? So we have got little R and D in Hyderabad and different places we tried. This small thing only we wanted to share with you also. First, I would, I wanted to teach physical exercise, little yoga, where more oxygen to the heart, more oxygen to the body. Okay, all are ready to join with me. It only takes two, three minutes. Okay, keep the chest little distance, little distance, little distance. Okay. So, first thing is, it helps more oxygen to the heart. And uh, first I will do, then you people can join, okay? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, the, see, the hand movement is not important. The inhalation is important. Inhale, exhale. Sound should come. Okay. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay? Initially, do only three times. Then gap. Then three times. Then four times. Five times. Six times. Slowly, slowly, slowly increase. Come to one second once. So totally make it at least 140 to 50 times. Okay? The hand movement is not important in this. The breathing is important. While taking inhalation, exhalation. Please do along with me so that you can do it in the home every day. It is an exercise. If you do it for at least maybe 10 minutes, it is equal to 2 3 kilometers walking. Sometimes you may get time, sometimes you may not get time to walk. Maybe the maybe you are staying outside, maybe with, with the weather conditions difficult. So it is a simple exercise anywhere you can do. Is all clear? Inhale, exhale. Okay, you are able to feel the heart rate is also increasing. You are able to feel the thing. The same exercise, if you are not able to do like this, there is a different way also you can do the same exercise. Okay? Inhale, exhale. 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 Okay? Initially, do only three times. Then five times. Six times. Seven times. Eight times. Slowly, 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 slowly increase. Inhale, exhale. Only while coming like this, the most important thing, more than the uh, hand movement, the breathing is more important. The sound should come. The inhale sound should come and exhale sound should come. While coming reverse. Okay. While doing like this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay. You might be watching the breathing. Okay. <coughs> Any time it can do, preferably before. Food we have to do. Empty stomach if you do is better. After food, maybe you have to give three hours time. Okay. This will this will also helps to reduce the stress level also. Another exercise, one or two exercises I want to show. Everybody knows the clapping. Clapping or hands are containing a lot of nerves. Okay. Generally we clap like this, like this. But if we are recommending to clap at least Generally, we don't need occasion, but you have to make it a point like an exercise. Everybody has to clap like this. Try some diabetic patients. If you clap 200 times, 250 times, we are able to feel the sugar level is coming by at least by 30 percent, 40 percent. So I want you to do. Only thing is, generally we do like this. Instead of like that, we have to do like this. Because of the maybe the cholesterol, 
different factors are there. I want to show two minutes video. Then most important one, my coming here is we have done some research how to clear the heart blocks with little homemade medicines. We tried thousands of patients in India and abroad. Maybe we can advise, you can see the, the ingredients are only two to three things. I wanted to share that is the most important thing. By the time when video comes, I want to tell one more exercises which is good for the body, okay? I'm doing, please join with me, okay? This improves the nervous system, okay? Put it like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have to hit little, little force. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, within four or five minutes, you feel your nervous system also excited and you feel very energetic. Any time you can do. Okay, only thing is hitting should be a little harder, like this. One. So, so somebody hits it difficult, or we can hit. One, two, three. It should uh, sound should come. Sound should come. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay? So that sound should come. Then everything is over. Then coming to the face. Face also very important. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 25, 20. Okay? It's clear? Then, what about our stomach? Our stomach containing. Okay. Okay. Now, th now this is the most important thing to stimulate our internal organs. Okay. I will. Uh, if you stand and do is good, if, if possible. If you are not able to stand, you can sit and do. This exercise to stimulate the stomach and all the internal organs. If you stand and do is better. I wish you can stand and do it. The people who cannot stand, they can sit and do. Okay. Maybe chair little. Chair you can take little backward. Okay. You should keep the hands like this, like this, not like this, like this. Okay. First, I'll be doing. We should do with counting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 What happened? If you do for five minutes, you get sweating. Okay. Only thing is our internal organs also will be stimulated. You should keep it like that. One, two, three. One, two. Count. One, two. If you are not doing the job, you can stand and do. One, two, three. Up, up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Sing little sound should come. Sound. One, two, three. It also have to reduce the stomach. Up. And then finally, very good, very good, very very good. Say it like very good, very good, very very good. Okay, please sit down. Thank you. <laughs> to go for walking. We feel we want to go for a walk today. Weather is not good. 
the, these problems are there where this can be exercised can be done in, in the home anytime preferably before food maybe in the morning you can do maybe in the evening you can do if you do it for 10 minutes we get total your shirt everything will be you can get a lot of sweating also and you can burn a lot of calories also okay all clear i wish everybody should do at least 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the 10 minutes in the evening maybe next time i i, I take 3 days class i need 3 days so that to teach all exercises thank you Small video only, just only two minutes only. Everybody knows. is caused due to coronary artery blockage. Coronary arteries are the blood vessels which supply the heart with oxygen and nutrition. Over time, the inside of these arteries develop fibro fatty plaques of different sizes. These or myocardial infarction is caused due to coronary artery blockage. Coronary arteries are the blood vessels which supply the heart with oxygen and nutrition. Over time, the inside of these arteries develop fibro fatty plaques of different sizes. These plaques are made of cholesterol and other substances floating through the bloodstream, such as inflammatory cells, proteins, and calcium. Many of the plaque deposits are hard on the outside and soft on the inside. The hard surface can crack or tear, exposing the soft, fatty inside. When this happens, platelets come to the area and blood clots form around the plaque. The artery narrows further and in turn there is less room for blood to flow through the arteries. Finally, this results in the occlusion of the coronary arteries resulting in the death of the surrounding heart muscles. The patient experiences tightness, heaviness, or constriction in the chest. So, the most important thing is, in the world, the blocking of the arteries. The coronary, coronary arteries are the most important thing. Everybody should take care of their arteries. How to take care? I will tell someone of the recipes that is the most important thing. I will tell last time. Okay. The, the disease, many diseases of the heart, but the most important in the world, blocking of the arteries are most important. Around 80 to 90 percent of the heart problems, blocking slowly, slowly the block starts. See, the block starts not immediately. See, sudden viral fever will come, sudden other problems come. Block starts at the age of 30. Slowly, 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 sometimes 30 years, sometimes 35 years, slowly, slowly, it slowly, slowly increases. Can you see the block? This is a normal artery. This is the plate. So when the plate deposits, so the amount of the blood to the heart, it doesn't go, then the heart, the, the particular area dies. Now they get all the heart problems. Now, I am going to tell natural ways how to clear this this plate. Okay, this plate, the commonest causes of smoking, hypertension, diabetes, 
lack of exercise and all the possible factors are there. Now we will all learn how to clear. Suppose in our house some, some taps are blocked, we put some chemicals, how to clear. So you all should learn natural ways without any surgical intervention how to clear our coronary arteries. How to keep healthy of the coronary artery, that is the most important thing. Suppose in many, many patients, when they feel the, the block is more, they do a bypass surgery. So that when the block is more, they take from the leg, they do bypass. But see, most important thing, we, are, we will try to see as much as possible how to clear our arteries naturally without any surgical intervention. Okay? These are all the symptoms. See, these are all the most important. What are the risk factors? High blood pressure, high cholesterol, cigarette smoking, high uh, diabetes, so, uh, lack of estrogen, obesity. These are all the people, symptoms, persons who get more prone. Normal persons also can get it. This person, more chances are there. If there is somebody having excess weight, we should think that you should reduce the weight. The smoking also precipitates. And the, diet, the person's diabetes is not under control, fluctuation, high diabetes also the problem. Another thing is high, high blood pressure. And most important of all those things, the stress. Stress increases the diabetes, stress increases the blood pressure, stress increases to drink a uh, lot of alcohol, alcohol striking increases to drink, take a lot of smoking. The stress factor is the mo most important thing. We have done a lot, lot of doctors in India and abroad. The most important thing, everybody should think, how to reduce their stress level under control. That is the most important thing. With the stress, so you see, we are, your stress is high, doctor, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not taking smoking, I'm not drinking, but your stress level is high, automatically all other things will be increased. These are the things we cannot change. Some people have a family issue of heart problems. We cannot, this is not in our hands. Stress is in our hands, yes? Family issue is not our hands. Male's possibility of more. For white population, the possibility of these problems are more. These are all the symptoms of the uh, symptoms, stress pain, all the small small things. The diagnosis. So this is all the what are the suppose somebody gets the problem, this is all angioplasty, this is all the uh, See, the, the block is more, they do the stents, okay? This is the bypass, single bypass, double bypass, triple bypass, where the, where the block is there, where they cannot put any stent, they do small bypass. The most important thing is, this is a very, very good for the heart. Fruits, vegetables, grains, and reduce your fat, fat food, more of vegetable, okay? Cut back and the salt. Salt is the most important thing. We have visited so many nature hospitals in India and abroad. In any nature hospital, they treat the patient, or they give the food without salt. They said already our vegetables containing natural salt. Okay? Uh, somebody is having high blood pressure, somebody is having high diabetes. So if they can reduce salt at least by 40%, 50%, they can compare. The health level will be decreased. Even the Weight reduction will be there. If somebody reduces the salt, you can see a lot of weight reduction in this. Drink more water. The most important thing for heart problems are exercise. Thank you. Most important thing, how to find out the heart problems. We can do all the investigations. By the time we do investigations, if somebody is running, if he is feeling restlessness, we can see that, we can think that 70% block is there. Somebody is running, fast running. Normal walking, little fast walking, if you feel the restlessness, we feel 80% block. Even normal walking also. <laughs> so then, then your coronary arteries are blocked by 90%. Some people, without doing walking, without any exercise, even while doing in the home also, feel lot of restlessness, you should think that it is 100% block. Sometimes, in, we only do sometimes investigations, sometimes we don't do investigations. This is a general idea to give, I am telling. 
the most important thing the plaques and the cholesterol is the most important thing actually cholesterol comes from the animal source if you take animal food only or cholesterol comes if you take vegan right the cholesterol problem is not at all there <coughs> the most important thing uh, i want you to make a note of this we try thousands of patients how to clear the heart blocks without any surgical in intervention you know all you know pomegranate yeah. so if you open it we can put it same way we are cutting the pomegranate we can put same way how the compartments and all we cannot do it the same way if you do any intervention to the heart it cannot be normal the normal heart has given by the god if we do any surgical intervention we try to avoid as much as possible the surgical intervention I am going to tell some formulation now. We tried many patients. It is clearing the heart blockages. The medicine available in your kitchen. Okay. Can you all read for the heart vein opening? Ingredients for making the heart vein opening. I will tell the procedure. You must take one cup of lemon juice. So everybody has lemon juice. One cup of ginger juice. One cup of garlic juice. One cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay. It's clear now. So this is ginger, this is lemon, garlic, this is apple cider vinegar. The four ingredients are required to make the formula. You do it, and they also help others also. Even if you're not having a problem, also one can try. There is no side effects. It is available in the kitchen. You can also recommend not only for the opening of the heart, it is also helping to reduce the cholesterol. Reduce the cholesterol. It prevents also. One can try and also helps for the digestion and other other health problems also. See what to do is take garlic and ginger. This is first take garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger. Make it a paste. Okay. After making a paste, put it in a grinder. Put it in a cloth. Extract the juice. This is garlic and ginger juice. This is the juice. Garlic and ginger juice. Okay. After first take a garlic and ginger. Put it in a mixer, paste it, put it in the cloth, ex extract it. Then the ju juice is ready. Okay, then the juice is ready. Uh, the most important thing for the this one general. Once the juice is ready, you have to put it in a mix all the above, simmer in low heat for about 60 minutes till the solution reduces to three cups. Okay, actually the four ingredients you have to simmer it for uh, 60 minutes slowly, slowly four cups will become three cups. we will the solution to cool then mix 3 cups of natural honey because we are vegan we are, I, am, i am suggesting to put a jaggery jaggery juice you can put only the honey is only helping instead of honey you can put jaggery juice or otherwise you can put a sugar syrup also you can put it you can't use honey you sugar syrup when we are we are not recommending honey please i know my honey to feed their babies i know we are recommending jaggery to come and steal the honey i know then the bees need to eat their own babies i know we are recommending the ja honey for them to feed their babies i know so honey honey, honey. honey is no medicinal property don't use honey use jaggery 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 or the sugar solution yeah exactly. sugar solution then this is all the things mix it up then final product will be like this then this is a thing This is a. Can you see the thing? Because of the cholesterol, other things. Can you see the block? So they uh, how to they send the guy. So can you can you see the communication gap here? See this, this is the block. See after using for forty days, we have seen some patients. We cannot say hundred percent. Many patients now it is it is is it clear now? Before and after, we one can see the results in forty days. We are recommending this before breakfast. One spoon mix with the 50 ml of water in the morning and in the evening also. Otherwise, if somebody is not having a problem, they can only drink once a day. No side effects are there. This is before. This is afterwards. Okay. 
So there is no side effects also with this and all available in the kitchen. And uh, I want to show uh, the garlic and uh, this thing one second. This is a garlic we call it. Garlic, okay? The ginger, the fresh ginger you can make. Fresh ginger, okay? Then the lemon, everybody knows the lemon, okay? Another, another ingredient uh, we are doing little R&D. This is for the cinnamon. Instead of drinking a normal tea, I recommend my friends drink cinnamon tea. Just make it a powder, put it in the water, boil it and take. Cinnamon tea is very good, it is also helping for the heart, it is also helping to reduce the cholesterol also and, uh, and it is also helping to reduce the weight also. Cinnamon is very effective and very useful, cinnamon. Okay. Thank you. Another thing, generally in India or in other places we eat along with the tea some biscuits, some other things. Okay. We have are, we are, we are done some research, we have developed one uh, vegan snack, vegan snack. This is uh, developed by me, this is called Khakra, ready to eat, low calorie, zero sugar, zero fat, zero cholesterol. This is containing cinnamon, wheatgrass, methi, all the, all the herbs in it. I want you to taste it Mr. Paul, I want Mr. Paul to inaugurate, uh, open this uh, Khakra box. Thinks that they know in uh, non-vegetarian, lot of 
proteins are there. Alisomat, our friends should make some uh, pulses every day. Like, you know, soybean, you can take all the pulses, make it a mind every day to have all the pulses. We are doing it in orange day. This is containing good nutrition also. I recommend to take in the small double beans. This I recommend to take in the evenings. This is containing protein. Just go through. You can see poisson. This is like, a, like any pulses. This is containing good nutrition. So how is the taste that everybody want? Afterwards they also they can have a lot of products available, they can, they can, they can enjoy it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. No, no I do that. In this future, we are want to go going on khakra uh, for joint pain, for diabetes, or different different, so that in future we can take khakra. I recommend to take one piece every day. One, one full piece. So this is con the only containing herbs, you no know, chemicals, nothing is there. We recommend, to see in India generally along with the tea, they have some biscuits, maybe biscuits and biscuits. Instead of biscuits, they can go substitute with this hakra because there is no. Shouldn't be more than one. Uh, okay, if you wish, but no harm, but I recommend at least half to one piece, I recommend. The most important thing now Now, the most important thing for the, the cholesterol is the oil One is the animal fat, second thing is the oil People say this oil is good, that oil is good Somebody says colonel uh, is good, somebody says olive oil is good all aisles are same. The percentage is only 1%, 0.1% change. The advertisement is good. What we are doing already is somebody is having a heart problems. To reverse the heart problems, we are recommending zero oil cooking. Okay? Zero oil cooking. All the women get confused. Generally, you want to make a vegetable. First, we put oil, we put all the ingredients, we put vegetables, then we cook it. That's correct. Everybody does in India and abroad. Even they learn the same way. First we put a vessel, put little jeera, oil and all, all other vegetables. We are developed on, uh, I am going to tell the secret first, we are going to, we are developed on vegan oil. Vegan oil, okay? It costs only around about 2, two baht per liter. How much? 2 baht per liter. Uh, 2 baht per liter. This we can also make in the home. I am going to tell this, I am going to tell the secret. I am going to tell the secret after the, my video. You can also make the vegan oil in the home. We need, now our words, you need not buy, you need not buy oil from your home. So that you can also reduce your cost. Whatever the amount of money you are spending for the, uh, whatever the amount of money you are spending the oil to the home, you can minimize. Okay. This is a vegan oil. It's cost around about 2 baht per liter. You can, everybody can make in the home. This, this is available. I am going to tell. Okay, with this we can make all the vegetables, all the things you can make in the home. Okay. All the things I'm going small demo. Without oil, we can make. With all the ingredients, everybody is in the kitchen. So first, we have to take a vessel. 
this kada you know put all 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 we make it ready all the tomato paste onion paste or whatever the whatever we put other than oil whatever the ingredients you have put it in the vessel then mix it up then your vegetable is ready only the thing is you are you are all thinking what is vegan oil this vegan oil is nothing but water okay <laughs> this vegan oil this vegan oil is nothing like water we have done lot of research we have good lot of books about bagar vegan oil nothing is like water everybody is having this vegan oil in the home yes yes we can make all dishes with with vegan oil this is water there no need of oil for all all the dishes okay i will going to where see in, in the home in the, in the vessel you put water put label as a oil wherever you feel the oil is to be used put water the the taste is good see actually oil doesn't have any taste if i give some coconut oil anybody to drink one spoon everybody say no doctor no the oil is not good oil doesn't taste anything only thing is the psychology of the mind because the woman has learned from her parents her parents everybody thinks that oil is if we put the oil only the food is tasty if they put the oil the tasty oil will not give any must taste the masalas what we put the ingredients tomato powder tomato onion all other thing jeera powder that will give the taste oil doesn't have any taste you can try okay and also we can minimize your cost it can also minimize your uh, cholesterol you can control your cholesterol with, without oil you can also control your weight also you can also minimize some other problems also so where this is called vegan oil wherever in the home also in your oil oil tin is there and that you put water put vegan oil whenever you wanted to put oil you can put the water वेजिटेबल करी ओके In this, we put jeera, dhania, and uh, dal chini. You are first. You are only thing is you are to roast. We not put any oil in it. We did not put any oil. We are only roasting. Okay. We are only putting the ro- roasting. Then you are to mix slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly you are to mix because when we put the oil, we did not mix thoroughly because we we are not putting the oil. So put it in a straw in a simmer way. And mix it slowly, 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 slowly. Consume it. Okay. When it, when it, when it is ro- when it is getting roasted, then slowly, slowly put uh, other ingredients. Th- this is uh, onion paste. Okay. Onion we grind it, making a paste. Onion paste. Onion paste we are putting. Okay. Only thing is, you see, generally we are not putting water. We are not putting oil. So wherever the oil is, there, put little, little water, little, little water, little, little water. While mixing, you have to mix it slowly and put little water. Mix it little slowly and put water. Wherever you feel the oil is required, put water. The taste will be hundred times better than the oil. Better than the oil. You have to take the wooden spoon. And mix it slowly, slowly. You have to mix it up. And uh, in any see one one I am telling you, mix a vegetable curry. Like any vegetable, you can make without oil. Only thing is, you think wherever the oil is used, you should use water. So you can you can cut down the weight a little. You can cut down your calories. You can reduce your cholesterol level. It is also good for health. Good for other fall other things also. When when it is uh, roasted, the onion is roasted. Then you can put your tomatoes to to put your vegetables. Slowly you can put everything. You can put it.
We put tomatoes now, okay? Just plain tomatoes, nothing, we will not put anything, tomatoes. First we put jeera dhaniya and dalchini, then onion paste, then the tomato paste and, and little tomatoes. Then only thing is in this, we have to mix, we have to mix it up because we are not putting the oil, we have to put it in a low heat, mix thoroughly, mix thoroughly. Because no oil is there, it, it will stick. So where this, this is vegan oil. Okay? Whenever uh, you feel it is sticking, you have to put vegan oil. That is water. So that it will not stick. So we put all the uh, things. It is uh, boiling now. While boiling, you have to do it slowly and you have to mix it thoroughly. So again, you have to put wherever the wherever the need is there, you have to put the vegan oil, that is water. Mix thoroughly and you have to put whatever the masalas you want to put, dhania, jeera, turmeric, whatever you want to put, put it. Except the oil, everything should be put it. Then we are, and then the last is the vegetables. All the vegetables, green peas, capsicum, all the vegetables, mix it up. Can you see how colorful it is? You think that without oil it is, people think that without oil we cannot make any dish in. Definitely we have the people who got uh, patients since six, 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 five years, six years. They did not brought uh, any single oil to their home. They make all the dishes, all the dishes without oil they are making. They are very healthy. They are cutting down the medical bills. They are cutting, they will be very healthy also. They are cutting down their blood pressure tablet. They are cutting down their diabetic tablet. They are cutting down their cholesterol tablet. Everything can be minimized with this. Very simple. Everybody can, everybody can try this. There is no harm at all trying. But you put all the ingredients except the oil. Can you see how colorful it is? Maybe next time, if we, I need more time to make all those things. Next time I will take permission. So we will we'll cook and uh, make you the taste of the without oil food. So same thing, you can put any vegetable, you can do it the same way, you can put any vegetables, tomato gravy you can put, mixed vegetables you can do, broccoli you can do, any vegetables you can put it. We are doing little, little R&D, everybody knows we have flex seeds, flex seeds, FLA, flex, we are trying many patients to reduce the cholesterol, grind the flex seeds, we are recommending to uh, to take two spoons of flax seeds in the morning, empty stomach, uh, it is helping to reduce the cholesterol level at least by 40%. I recommend my friends to try to introduce flax powder in the kitchen, in the in the vegetables you can add it, you can make, mix with the roti, or you can you can also take in empty stomach, the flax powder. I am showing the flax powder, flax seeds. Uh, FLEX flex, flex seeds it is called, it is available in the supermarkets, it containing omega 3, omega 6, it is good for the heart, good for the hair, good for the skin, uh, you can also take like this, but then if you take like this the results are less, if you grind it, if you powder it, if you powder it, the, the results are very good, we can, we can try um, one spoon or if somebody is having problem, to take two spoons, grind it, powder it, take before an empty stomach. It is very effective. This is called flex seeds. Okay, you can all see. I don't know Thai name. I wanted to tell other people the flex seeds. What you call flex seeds? It's called flex seeds. In English, it is called F L A X flex seeds. It's available and it is not 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 expensive. It is. Uh, we can take like this. But if you, if you grind it, it is better. If you grind it, make it a powder. I am recommending two spoons in the morning uh, with buttermilk you can add it. You can take like this also, very effective. And somebody is not having a problem, 
they can uh, they can put it under any vegetables they can put it and can take okay this is containing omega 3 even in america uh, the flex oil capsules are available flex tablets are available yes, this, I recommend this. So which one is better? Red is better. Or or red, one? red is better. The another another food is called super food. It is called super food. This is called chia seeds. C H I A. Chia seeds is called super food. It's containing omega three and omega six. Many Indians know in the summer they take well, in the lassi and falada they add it. This we have to soak in the night or otherwise it is for one hour. If you put it in the water. The seeds will swell it and it will become more fiber. Then I am recommending at least one spoon at least uh, to take in the morning or any time. This you can mix with the water, mix with the juice, mix with the salad. Anyway it will go, the chia seeds anyway, but it has a lot of medicinal properties in it. Uh, when when, when we, chia seeds mixes with the water, it will become like this. The seeds, when it touches with the water, the seeds it will raise some property, it will become that fiber coating around the seeds, it will become thick and also can you see all these things? So constipation also is doing good, a lot of tremendous results are with this, I think it is available in any supermarket you can try to use, maybe some people drink uh, with the water, some people drink buttermilk, some people drink juices, the whatever the way you, you wish they can take. Thank you. And, uh, <coughs> two minutes at least. See, with the, our friends, doctors around the world, we have done a little R&D. Why the human being is becoming sick? Why we are getting a lot of diseases? There are two types of food. One is called acidic food, one is alkaline food. Okay? If it is pH 7.5 below is acidic food, above 7.5 is called alkaline food. If you take acidic food, our body will tend to get more diseases. Suppose anywhere dirt is there, it attracts the mosquitoes, virus, bacteria. If you take acidic food, our body will get diseased more prone to diseases if you take acidic food. Okay? We get the, the, the problem is there, it increases the problems and also inviting the problems to land in the body. If you take alkaline food where pH above 7.5, the body immunity will increase. Whatever the medicines, suppose already the medicines what you are taking, we can minimize the medicines also. Where the diseases will not enter into the body. And we have tried lot of patients in India. If we take offline food, we can reverse the health problems. Many health problems we are reversing in India by taking with monitoring the patients, reducing the medicines, putting the patient in an alkaline diet. See, I got a chart and how to know which is acidic food, which is alkaline food. Okay, small example I'll tell. Tea with milk is acidic, tea without milk is alkaline. Okay? And Tea with milk is acidic, tea without milk is alkaline. So, I got a chart here and everybody in the Google you can put it acidic or alkaline charts. You can put it, you can take it out, you can put it in your kitchen. At least suppose Dr. Gupta we are taking acidic food since long many years. How to avoid? So as much as possible, as much as possible, you minimize the acidic food, you increase your alkaline food, our blood pH is 1.3. So if you take alkaline food, you can minimize the medication, your health will be good, we can also see the results. The best alkaline food, uh, last time my lecture I had told, the 10 pH is containing uh, fresh lemon, fresh lemon containing high alkaline, got 10 pH. Many people, many friends are not seen, so I have done some little R&D on alkaline, and it costs around 1 bar, we can, we can reverse the problems. Okay, please, uh, this is very important. Take one lemon, 
made two slices in the in the center. In the center, thin two slices. Take one liter water bottle. Put two slices in the in the one liter water bottle. After two hours, the water will become like a medicated water. The water will become alkaline water. Go on, drink that water. Suppose the water is empty again, you can refill. By next day morning, you can change the lemon. Within two days, you can see first two days, ten times you get urination. So that you can see the result. You feel the body is detox pain. You get more excess urination. You feel very lighter. And another thing, suppose you put two slices of lemon in the water bottle. Suppose by afternoon we drink off. Oh, whatever we drink again, you refill. Whatever you drink the water, you can re refill again. Next day morning, you can change the lemon. Suppose somebody is working in the office. Carry the bottle to the office. Somebody in the hospital, doctor can take to the office. Somebody can put it in the car. Wherever you want, you can take. The lemons are available anywhere. Okay. And within a week, within a week's time, somebody can see that I'm reducing half kg weight, one kg weight. I like see doctors of my medicine. I am feeling very, very light, very energetic because it is working like all kind. So watermelon is also all kind. See why the non-vegetarian food, the pH is 3.5. That is why whoever they take non-vegetarian food, they are getting sick. This containing all the, the all the uh, burger, all the is containing pH is the acidic 3.5. So my friends. Try to take food which is above 7.5 pH. So, doctor, I am taking. See, the human being is habituated to see some type of food. But slowly, slowly learn. Suppose you are eating many items, you check in the Google whether I am taking this food is acidic alkaline, acidic alkaline. Preferably take slowly, slowly. Suppose you are 50% acidic, 50% alkaline. Okay, fine. After maybe 6 months, go for 60% alkaline, 40% acidic. 30% slowly, 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 slowly try to increase the percentage of the alkaline. See, I was discussing with my, with my friend Sajan. In Canada, surprising, every year 5% are becoming vegetarian. Before only the few restaurants are there in Canada, you can see hundreds of restaurants. Japanese uh, vegetarian restaurant, Italian, and. Uh, Japanese. Huh? Vietnamese. Uh, Vietnamese, Thai, Taiwan. So all different, so maybe after another 10 years to 15 years in Canada, I think every every year 5% of the population is becoming vegetarian. Maybe can every year 5% change means after maybe 20 years, maybe 90% or 100% it may become vegetarian. So they have seen a lot of uh, health problems, a lot of other things, slowly, 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 they are trying now, slowly, slowly converting to the vegetarian. So my friends, uh, try to take alkaline food, minimize the acidic food. It's all clear. The last I want to tell <laughs> in India and other parts of the world, we have done some research. Many parts of the people, everybody gets some back pain, neck pain, any pain. Generally, we take the painkiller. If we take the painkiller, there's a lot of side effects. In America, even if you shout at the doctor, the doctor at least doesn't give the painkiller. Only thing, if it is emergency, if it is worse, only they will give. So, Biodol has got a lot of side effects. With the research, Biodol is one uh, herbal pain lotion. It is containing all calendula, all the flower extract and the whole herbs. Since 10 years, we have developed the research. The research is, before you, you finish your coffee, the pain should go. So, how much time it takes to drink the coffee? It takes 2 minutes, 3 minutes, any pain. The lotion doesn't know. Before you finish the coffee, the pain is going. We have tried different patients in India. It, the lotion doesn't know. It may be the headache, it may be the neck pain, it may be the back pain, it may be the muscle pain, it may be anything. It's containing a ball. Okay? Wherever the pain is there, just apply, just massage it, just apply this little gentle application. We are able to see the results. Doctor can ask me how long the pain relieves. See if it is acute pain, maybe because of the strain, stress and all other things, the pain doesn't go. Even somebody is having severe arthritis, any other muscular problems, neurological problems, any pain, it is relieving in two minutes. Plus, we have been this research since long time. In this nowadays, people are asking doctor, why can't you try something for the skin also? So I put this label as pain and relaxing lotion. It reduces the pain, it relaxes the skin. Wherever skin irritation is there, 
hurting area is there, allergy is there, roughness is there. You can also use this lotion for the skin. Same within 60 seconds, the itching will subside, irritation will subside, somebody is having a redness. The redness also will subside in 60, 60 to 70 seconds. This, will, this lotion works for the pain, works for the skin also. See, somebody is not having a problem. See, uh, after the shave, somebody using the lotion and all, they can use this. Or the dry skin, it's a lot of winter, our skin is getting dry. Then apply, within 60 seconds, you can feel that the skin is getting smoother. There's no chemicals inside, it's containing the flower extracts. Okay. Afterwards, after the lecture, anybody wants, we can give a live demo and they can see the results. The lotion doesn't know. Somebody is having a headache, somebody is having a neck pain, somebody is having a low back pain, somebody is having a shoulder pain, anyone get relief. Somebody get 20%, somebody get 30%, somebody get 50%, somebody get 70%, somebody get 80%. Everybody get the result. So finally, my advice, everybody should take care of their coronary arteries. How? First thing is, reduce the cholesterol. Reduce the, your oily food, fried food, then reduce your weight. If the weight is more, try to minimize the weight. Reduce your blood pressure. And mo most important, out of all those things, the stress factor is most important. People have no time. Everything rushy, rushy they do. Hurry, hurry. With the rushy, stress, tension, your BP will increase, your diabetes will increase, all the problems will increase. For that, I recommend to do at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes yoga and meditation. In India, I am connected to Om Shanti, the institution in the Mount of in Rajasthan. They have got four, three to 400 centers around the world. One Dr. Gupta is doing research. How to reverse the heart problems is doing with meditation, with meditation, yoga and vegan diet. You can reverse your coronary heart rate blocks at least by 50%, 40%. This possible is presented in the papers also. So you can also try uh, the yoga you can do, meditation you can do. Another thing, important thing is for the blood pressure, uh, we have done little R&D. This, this is a special exercise I will do first. If you, I want you also to learn, it takes only one minute. The, you have to put the hand like that. Inhale from one nose, exhale from another nose. And like this. Slow you should do. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, inhale. When this you can control your blood pressure at least by 15%, 20%, 30%. You have to do it very slowly. You have to close one, one side. Take slowly. This can be done any time of the day. Suppose Sometimes I'm busy if you don't get time, my, my driver is driving, I'm sitting in the car in the back seat, you can also do. Sometimes in my hospital when the patients are not there, I do. Any time you can do. Maybe you can do for 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Slowly, slowly, slowly you can increase. Inhale and exhale, exhale and inhale. Slowly, slowly you can do. Okay? And, uh, and another thing, this, this test I told to whether the coronary arteries are blocked or not. When you are running fast, you feel restlessness, you should think it is 70% wrong. If you are walking little, little, little slowly also, <laughs> restlessness is still 80% wrong. Even normal walking also feels restlessness is 90% wrong. Without doing any work also in the home also it feels wrong, means it is 100% wrong. If you feel, we can do some investigations or otherwise somebody want, doesn't want investigations, there is, the matter is there is a CT angiogram, CT has come. There is a scanning mission. Uh, they do a CT, it will show at least 80%, 80 to 90% will show whether your coronary arteries are blocked or not. You will blocked how much percentage. In India, it costs about 10,000 rupees to do the CT. Without going all the procedures, they can do it. But before that, if you take the precautions, some diseases, without knowing, suddenly it will come. But heart diseases, is all, you know, we are inviting the diseases to land in the body. Some diseases suddenly it comes, it is not in our hand. Heart problems because of your attitude, tension, stress, food habits and other things. I am sure everybody can um, control because it is in our hands. Okay? And my friends are asking, 
Doctor, how to reduce the weight that I have had some little one or two tips I want to tell will help you to reduce the weight by five, 4 to 5 kgs without medicine, without exercise. I want to share one minute. Okay. Most important thing is take dinner early by 6.30, you reduce at least 2 kgs per month. In India, people come from their office, they take dinner, they go to bed. The food doesn't digest. Dinner time, sleeping time, maintain minimum 3 and a half, 3 hours. By the time you take your uh, sleep, the food will be digested. So dinner time, sleeping time, maintain at least 3 hours. So it helps reduce at least 1 and a half to kg of the reduce, reduction of the weight. The second thing is the lemon therapy, what I told. So two slices, two sized lemon should be then put into the water. That will take at least you can reduce 1 and a half kg. The other, other thing is in China and so many other places I have seen, I have said, they drink warm water as a green tea. As much as possible, you take warm water, if you take green tea, we can see at least 1 to 2 kg weight reduction will be there, the cholesterol also will be reduced and the other benefits also there. Another thing, take small small meal more intervals. Suppose we eat breakfast, we eat lunch and dinner. Instead of that, have breakfast little, 11 o'clock little, lunch little, 4 o'clock, uh, 4, 4, 4 30 and 6 30 dinner. Small small meal, more interval, it helps. Okay? And last thing is, I am drinking since uh, since six months one juice, green juice. I wanted to share with the people. It is it detoxifies the system. It's containing it detox the system. Uh, maybe uh, I will tell the formulation. The green juice. The formula is for one person. I am telling 15 tulsi leaves, 15 curry leaves, 15 mint leaves, one bunch of coriander, one green apple. Put it in all mixing, grind it and take juice. Before breakfast, it has high sugar pill, all green. It is helping to detox by the system. In India, everybody is having the sleeves. There is no problem at all. You can also try. And for the energy, for vitamins, I recommended my friend once about the ABC juice. I wish you should share about ABC juice. What is I recommend I done some results. Many of doctors give me some vitamins and all. I done it. ABC juice, I recommended my patients, my friend who is using the ABC juice, please share the ABC juice. What is ABC juice? Yes, ABC juice is A for apple, B for tree, 2, and C for carrot. So every morning I cut and clean and cut and this uh, tree of them and then put it to the, uh, the grinder and make it like a smoothie or like a juice and I drink every day. So uh, as I did, uh, it, um, uh, I did some research on the, the rumor that beetroot is very good. Beetroot, you know, uh, during the, the Roman times, the Roman soldier they used to take every day half glass of beetroot to juice. It, it, it uh, increases the 10% of uh, oxygen in the, in the blood vessels. And uh, oxygen is very, very important because uh, if there is enough oxygen in our blood cells, it will prevent cancer. And uh, beetroot uh, is very good for um, for uh, anti-aging. So I take, and my wife takes every day, so we feel much healthier, it detoxifies our, um, our, our uh, olor also, so maybe you can try. Thank you. I'm sure there are questions and answers. We limit to just two, two or three questions. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Like I am a tenor, I don't eat ginger. So you just recommended that uh, juice uh, with one cup of ginger, one cup of garlic. Oh. Sorry, uh, we don't eat garlic. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Avoid the garlic. You can use other ingredients. You can try. Okay. Other ingredients you can try. If okay. you don't use the garlic, you can try other ingredients. No problem. You can start repeating 100%. Okay. No problem. You can try. Okay. Thank you. The, the local Thai Chinese who mm -hmm. practice the yeah, also, also, also almost similar practice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Other questions? <laughs> okay, if not now, we can continue questions and answers even even during dinner time. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want the lotions, they can try that. I have a few lotions, afterwards they can contact me. If you do a live demo, somebody is having a pain, they are leaving in 60 seconds. 
any pain, that is very migraine, low pain, back pain, 60 seconds. They can try, they can record, they can try. No. Thank you very much. Namaste.
I we have a token of appreciation to our guest speaker. This is a spa product. Definitely, all our products are vegan. <laughs> no animal ingredients. And then, General Sayu is a retired from from the army. Currently, more than 90 years. I think he's 95. How how old is he now? Could not know. General Sayu. 94. 94. He's 94 now, still very active, still traveling around the, the, the whole world. I was the one who introduced him into veganism. He has been vegan for 10 15 years. And uh, whenever we have any vegan major event, he always come as a as a ship guest. This is a book he offered. Let me invite Kun Michel, please. Kun Michel. Let me give a little introduction of Kun Michel, please. Dr. Gupta, please. How long ago uh, in uh, a back class? How, how, how long ago was that? Uh, 20, almost 30 years. Almost 30 years. I was teaching in Assumption University, a back. It used to be known as a back. Those days, today we call Assumption University. And uh, you know, those days, it was before the age of digital digital world before and Facebook is so helpful I, I lost most of my students I was a professor there for 12 years 12 straight years I was teaching marketing bachelor degree master degree and until finally she found me through Facebook she was my student nearly 30 years ago okay uh, we like you to be the one to present a token of appreciation to our guest speaker Before you go, Michelle, okay. and today also I found out that it happened to be your birthday. Yes, okay. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why we have cake. I think from Weekendary. Yes. Yes. Dairy free eggless cake from Weekendary. Yes, Weekendary. Those who haven't been there is a must visit. It's a must visit. Yesterday, uh, yesterday night I visited the uh, restaurant. I did not see, I was in America also, I did not enjoy it. Yesterday I tried the uh, vegetarian vegan restaurant. It is so tasty, so healthy. Really, it is amazing. I wish you should try once uh, the restaurant. Very nice. Thank you. So thank, thank you very much to put you in a Can we have a birthday song, please? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sing live to DJ or from okay? <laughs> one by one are dying. 
because now the agency, if you have to be, if you have to survive, your 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 business has to be online. So every year our online channel goes up. So the business module has changed. If you are interested, whatever business you may be in, come over on Sunday, 24th July, next month. A speaker again from India, from Chennai, is a digital marketing master. is giving a talk, and you know all our event, we keep the ticket price very low just to cover our food. Yes. 26th July, most welcome. Next announcement. Biwa will be celebrating 25th anniversary on 2nd October this year. We were founded on Mahatma Gandhi's birthday 25 years ago, 2nd October. So this year is going to be our silver jubilee. 2nd October, the venue of of course this hall is too small. It's going to be at Lotus Hotel, so Kumbit Soi 33. We expect few hundred people there. The timing is 6 p.m. 6 to 9 p.m. is the time. The last announcement for those who are not yet a Viva member, we encourage you to join in as a member. Lifetime membership fee only six hundred baht. What do you get joining in? Is is a show of support for the movement. Simply a show of support. I I I don't know what to say. What you will get from the membership is a show of support for the movement. If you feel we are doing a good job, join in. And it's just one time payment. We'll feature you. In our in the Facebook web, we'll feature you, your profile, your photo will be in there. Before we enjoy our dinner last, before you walk out, we'll have a group photo. Okay, we'll have a group photo. So please do not walk out. Wait just five minutes for for us to make an arrangement. We'll have a group photo. Then you enjoy your dinner. All dinner is vegan, Thai food. Little bit Indian food you can bring in. I am pleased to adjourn. Viva we get talk number two hundred eighty. Thank you very much. One two. Okay. Yes. Sir.
Sweet. Sweet. It's just like balls. This is good. Dessert. Yeah, dessert. But if the ingredients exist here, I think because the, the sale price should be 60 bucks for all with cheese and mustard or cheese and tomato sauce, right? You can hold it in one hand, right? And then place the bag and push it up a bit. It's like convenient and fast and easy and it's a big thing, right? And I think it will be popular because you know, people are going to be more American.